It's delicious! French toast. I wanted it yesterday, but Chris slept so late that I didn't make it. So today I'm frying up some sausage over here and I am going to start some French toast. It's so easy. All you do is you add a little milk to a pie plate And um, the full recipe is in my first volume cookbook. I am not making the full recipe because it's just me and Chris. And the, girl, not, the girls aren't here yet. So I don't want to waste a lot of ingredients. All right, we're going to go ahead and flip these. Yep. This is going to be good. This is Swaggerty Sausage. It's our favorite. And they have it at the Walmart down here. So I'm happy about that. Oh, it's got a good, nice, crunchy pop. The way I like it. I'm getting the hang of this new stove. Okay, I'm going to turn it down to about three. And once that finishes cooking, we're going to go here. And all I'm going to do is beat this up with a fork. We're going to add a little vanilla. Yummy yum. And some sugar. I don't know where my white sugar is down there. So let's add a little sugar to it. And when you do this, you are going to, um, my skillet's too hot already. Gonna beat it up and I'm gonna put a little cinnamon nutmeg in it. Now, of course, you can leave that out if you don't like spices, but I sure do. Easiest breakfast in the world to make. And so delish at the same time. All right, so we're going to bring this over to the stove. And you're going to want to use real butter to do some really good French toast, okay? So make sure you do that. We're going to get this in the skillet and start letting it melt. Yummy! Alright, while well, that's doing that, we're going to take French bread. This is French bread. It's sliced already for me. And I like to do a double dip. One side and then flip it again and do the other side. Now, if your crew don't like for it to be soggy, just dip it once. But I like for it to have a big a lot of coating on it. And then just put it in your preheated skillet with your butter. We're going to turn this back up to six and see if we can't get it brown. And while we're waiting on that, um, I'm just going to go over here and get us some syrup out of the pantry. For the bottom part, Tammy. I put all my stuff that's already open that we've been using in this little slide out, and that way it's convenient for us. And while those are browning, you can also, I'm going to leave the cinnamon right here and the nutmeg in case we want to sprinkle a little extra on there. Later. I think we can go ahead and pick up our sausage. Let's 
ready. Let's just go ahead and throw it all in here. Put it in there for a while. Yeah, it started before I came on with y'all. Delish! Hope you're having an awesome day. Let's turn this over. It's getting brown. My butter's turning dark. I think I can squeeze another one in there. What do y'all think? I say yes. The more the merrier. Because you don't really want your butter to burn. So you want to kind of fill your skillet up, okay? But you got a big skillet, use it. All right, let's get us out a couple of plates. And I want to get out a little powdered sugar. I got to find it. Ooh, and this is pretty, pretty, pretty. See if this one's getting any browner. It's not. We might. It's not. We're going to turn it up a little bit. All right, right now I got it on six. I think it just hadn't warmed up good for, for the most part. So we're gonna get out some powdered sugar. It must be in the pantry. It has to be down here somewhere. Here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in there. We we moved and I hadn't poured out my powdered sugar yet into my canister. We'll do that right quick. Then we'll get over there and flip them. and toasty so that they'll taste good. It's a really nice looking one for me. I like them brown. Okay, so we're just going to cook these a couple more minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put this one out on the plate. I'll leave it on that side. You want to use a non-stick skillet if you can, so that you don't have to worry about these sticking. The ones that had a whole lot of butter on them, it's going to take them longer to brown. Alright, I got out my rubber spatula, which I should have been using to start with. We're going to take this one over here. And you're going to want to eat it while it's warm. So most of the time, just like with pancakes, we serve these as they come out of the skillet. So let's go ahead and get these ready right here. And you can always put some fruit on them if you want. You want some of that fruit that's in there that's sweetened already? I don't. Okay, Chris don't want fruit. I think I'll let this be mine. I'm going to put a little fruit on mine. I have some fruit that's left over um, from me freezing it the other, uh, last summer actually, and it thawed out, and I've already made muffins out of part of it. It's already got sugar in it as well. So we'll get over here and put a little fruit on here. For me, it's blueberries and strawberries. And I won't use syrup, that'll be enough for me. The powdered sugar in this fruit is more than enough for me. I'm so hungry I might eat two. I might make me some more. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. 
It's delicious! Delish. Thanks for watching. Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.